Hey everybody and welcome to Cyberpunk TV. Today we're playing a game called Strafe, which I have been trying to make a video on for quite a while, and I'm not really sure how this is going to turn out. Um, we'll see. But Strafe is a first-person shooter made to be reminiscent of like Quake and Doom and those old kind of golden age first-person shooters where you just run around and kill everything. And... <laughs> As that game, it sort of succeeds. When it first came out, it was a little bit rough around the edges, and people sort of loved or hated it. They, it depends, like, if it if you got it. And you have to play Strafe in sort of a really specific way to have a good time with it. So I'm going to show you that, and I don't know how well that's going to translate into video content, so just bear with me, um, and we'll do it together. So, yeah, so here you are. You're dumped onto this kick-ass space station that's orbiting above this planet. And this planet, um, down there somewhere is the mining station Icarus. And the mining station Icarus has been overrun by bloodthirsty super mutant things. I don't really know what they're called. I mean, the game doesn't even really care. It doesn't explain it. Um, so that's it. I have to go there, kill mutants, get the junk resources that the, si the station is producing, and bring them back up here with me to not be dead. That's how you earn your wage. Um, you can take a shotgun, a machine gun, or a railgun with you. So I'll take... A right, shotgun looks like this. It shoots like this, it's something. The railgun, it's like for people who like to snipe and TF2 shoot it, I guess. I don't know. I like the machine gun because it's kind of easy to just hold down the trigger and run around like a psychopath. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just jump in and it's I'll try to explain things as I go. It's it's really weird. I'll just show you how we play. So the first thing you're gonna notice is I'm not gonna actually stop and fight everybody, which may or may not be a good thing. But uh, because this game is based on Quake, it does a lot with the bunny hopping physics. So the f more you jump, the faster and faster you go, and the faster and faster and faster you go. Wait, what? I've never seen that dude before. Um, the hell? I don't know. All right, well, anyway, so once you sort of get all the enemies balled up, you can start unloading into them. And you have to be kind of careful because if you get stuck, that's pretty much the end for you. Like... You can't really take many hits. What the hell are those guys? I don't think I've ever seen them before. Like zombies or something? I thought everybody was zombies already. They just like double zombies? Like weird Resident Evil 5 crustacean zombies or something? I don't know. Oh, what's up, dude? Hey. Aw, thanks. Bye. Are you just, just rocking out? You're not looking so good, man. Um, are you just, are you done? Did you push, what's this button do? I don't, all right, whatever. Um, so yeah, so the ultimate goal of every level of this game is to collect what resources you can and then escape. And always escape through like a, I don't wanna say red, like an orange door. Because red, there is, like, a red key. Whoa, what the hell just happened? Um, is that dude chucking grenades at me? What the hell? Alright, whatever. So, what I try to do is just run around, pick up all the chests and stuff, the cool items, and then just move on. These things on the wall uh, dispense healing items, kind of like um, Half-Life, actually. And those little wall things spawn really weird things that kind of hunt you, and they can be a huge pain. You know what else is a huge pain? These guys that are throwing grenades everywhere. Get out of here. There, that's better. Oh, see, see what I mean about getting cornered? Like, even just a couple of dudes around you can get you stuck in place. And once you're stuck in place, you're kind of in trouble, so... It's important to keep moving. I guess Strafe is not just a clever name. Alright, um... Oh, I saw that. You try to, you try to murder me, you head crab. Okay, so, nothing here, it seems. Let's go... Here, yeah, there's the exit. Cool. So, there's two things you can do. You can push this button and wait a really long time while the door opens. Or you can just shoot it, and then the door is open. So, let's just shoot the door and get out of it. So, that was level one. And as I think I mentioned, the levels are all procedurally generated. So, 
every time you play, the levels of the station are different, but you do sort of progress in the same way. You try to get further and further down. Eventually, you'll get through Icarus Station and to, I don't know, whatever comes next. I don't think I've ever got that far. Ooh, okay, never mind. Um, the other thing you should notice is that other guns you pick up, it isn't like uh, Doom or Quake in that regard. The other guns you pick up are just purely temporary. Um, you get to use them, but you cannot reload them, and you can't pick up more ammo for them. You just pick up a new gun. And when you do that, that's fine, but it means that only the rifle that you take with you from the starting area can be upgraded, like I just did. What did, I, what did it do? This is an upgrade station. Oh, it made my grenade launcher into a railgun? That seems kind of counterproductive. But, alright. And so, in keeping with all of the other randomness, the upgrades you get from the upgrade machines are completely random. And sometimes they're super awesome, and other times they turn your gun into something horrible and terrible. I don't know. That's kind of useful. Not really going to save me from lots of dudes, and there's always lots of dudes, so... Let's see how it goes. Another kind of weird and important thing to note as we play through this game is um, I have a tick. Like, I've been playing first-person shooters for a really long time, and so I reload my gun a lot. And you really, really shouldn't, because in this game, when you reload, you lose all of the remaining ammo in your, uh, in your clip. It just throws that clip on the ground, and you replace it with a new one. And so... That does not really bode well for me most of the time. It's a it's a mechanic that I've always like thought is cool, but it makes it really hard for me because I just constantly reload, pretty much all the time. And the other thing that this this machine is the obligatory crafting machine that is in every freaking game. Um, you can craft more ammo, and armor. What? What are you doing? Get out of here! Now where? I keep hearing that guy, but I don't know where he is. Let's do some... Do I have a lot of... No. I have, oh, I have 6,000. Let's make some armor. Put your junk in, and it comes out the other side. Look at that. Alright, well. Now, wait a minute. I think I have to eat my hat. I just picked up more shotgun ammo from that gun. Oh, okay. I think... It must be, must be, they must have changed that in the patch. So, now when you pick up someone else's gun, and you pick up the same gun again, it'll just add that to your ammo, which is super duper awesome. What the fuck was that? You guys saw that, right? Eh, alright. I don't know. What? Why was there a robot in there? I'm sorry. God. Alright, um, I'm looking for the red key door. I have a red key. Is this, this isn't a puzzle, right? This game doesn't have puzzles. Let's go back this way. Yep, this is definitely the right way. So does... It behoove me to hold on to that gun with uh, one, one weapon? Or what's... Like, it's weird. It's so weird having an actual weapon switch menu now. It used to just be whatever you picked up, but... I'll hold on to guns. That's fine. Uh, where the hell am I going? Uh, so since that weapon closet or that zombie closet opened up... Where? Okay. 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 I'm gonna hit you with this gun. Where is this all coming from? I thought this area was relatively safe. But I guess not. Alright. So I am not doing so hot. And by so hot, I mean I have one health left. I am about to die. Alright, so this is the area that I like. Carved my way through. I already ate all this food, so I can't heal. Um, I guess let's just try and stick it out. We could get lucky and accidentally stumble into the exit. Alright, there's that. So this just goes in a big circle. This is something. That doesn't really help. Okay, hold on. K. 
Okay. Okay, so we're back here where I already was. I don't know. Uh, I just wasted an entire clip of ammunition. I gotta learn. What's over here? Oh, just an explosive barrel. Creepy sound effects. And nothing. Alright, so now we are facing the double-edged sword of procedural level design. Who the fuck knows where I'm supposed to go? No one. Those health kits? No ammo. I really don't need more bullets. Hmm. All right, let's go back all the way back the way the way, the way we came. Whew, if I would have got hurt there, I would have been toast. Oh, get out of here! Oh, cool. All right. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta be real careful here. We gotta play real conservative. <sighs> okay. I know that that seems like a waste of ammo, but if I can one-hit kill all this stuff, it can't chase me. Oh, is that an exit? That is an exit. Alright. Oh, no, 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 no. Get it, get it, get it. Okay. So this is one of the few rare times when you have to actually kill everything to get through. These merchant guys are pretty, pretty jumpy. I mean, he thinks I'm gonna murder him. I mean, I guess on a station full of mur mut murderous mutants, mutinous murderers, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. So let's see what we can buy. Um, we can turn our scrap into actual dollars because they pay us for the scrap that we get, so. I can make $25. How much money do I actually have? Um, double jump? That's cool. I have $90. So if I sell all my scrap for $25, which is a horrible rate of exchange, I can buy something cool. Blast enemies every time you reload. Attach to wall for a trapped for unwitting enemies. No, we're going to do double jump. Bring us those boots, my fine man. Oh, cool. Whoa, cool. Now, if only I had a healing item. Stay calm, stay alive, just chill. All right, let's get the hell out of here. I like how that just turns off the music. It makes me so happy. All right, level three. This playthrough is going pretty well. I mean, I've managed to eat up at least 12 minutes of your time, and I hope that so far it's been interesting. Uh, Jesus. Oh, God, Curse of Darkness, I guess, the equivalent thereof. Going entirely on the light amplification from the suit. Oh. Well, I don't like you. I don't like that guy at all. Fucking Squidward, get out of here. Alright, so that's a really big waste of ammo. Ooh, that's an explosive dude. Okay, 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 we're still we're still kicking it, man. We're still doing great with one health. I wish I could quick save or something, but I can't. All right, I really don't like the idea of giving him my gun right now. But I have six of these, whatever this is. This looks like a grenade launcher. Are you done? Thank you. What? Okay, so this, this sucks. This fucking map has got two doors with keys already, but I know where they are at least. You tried to murder me. You all are trying to murder me. Get the hell out of here. Okay, go, 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 go around. Okay, so this is pretty darn powerful, despite having a tiny clip size. Oh, crap, I'm dead. No, I'm not. Oh, you taste that steel. Oh, yeah, everybody. Oh, this is going so well. Where the hell am I going? Oh, that's just the red... Am I, am I leaving those bloody boot prints? Is that me? Yeah, that is totally me. That's a really cute detail. All right. That's a bad sound. That means something is spawning those... those... things.
Gosh, this is tense when you have one health. Can I buy some armor? No. I spent all my money on jump jets. I have no regrets. Dude, what do you have? You have a green key? Okay. Now, one thing that's really not useful about this freaking game is as soon as you get the key, the door opens. So if there are monsters on the other side of the door, they can come through now, even though I'm not there to make them do it. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Accuracy leaves something to be desired with this gun. All right, so this is just the dead end. So let's go back to the green door. I am unreasonably tense. Alright, things are going well. I guess. See you up there, you asshole. Oh, you almost hit me. Oh, food! Sweet, glorious food! I'm off of one health! Oh my gosh, I'm gonna make it. At least for a little while. I knew you were in here somewhere. I saw you. What is that? Nothing, I guess. Where's the... There you are. Those little, like, micro-missiles or whatever I'm using, they're pretty cool. So, like, I know that this looks like a thing that I should interact with, but trust me, I shouldn't. What it'll do... <sighs> Stop making whale songs. Come here. There we go. Um, is if you step into this beam, it is like an anti-gravity lift, and it will throw me up into the ceiling. But you know what that red thing does? It murders you. Okay, so I have to just not touch that at all. Even though there's scrap in there, all of that is very, very, very hurtful. So let's, all right, I'll ride it. Just for you guys, no, I'm just, yeah. Not, I, all right, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Here we go, here, here we go. Oh, uh, okay, so that went okay. But if you go all the way up to the top, you die. It's a very bad design decision. Little bursts, man, because they don't, they all, they don't explode until... Oh shit, I just got murdered. I was doing so well. Man, I made a lot of progress though. T progress to what? I was killed by an explosion. My life was sacrificed to the darkness. Deep space by explosion. Released, it was over in 15 minutes. Alright, well. I guess like, I'm making progress through the station. Is that what that was? Like, I don't really know. But yeah, so this episode kind of got away from me a little bit, but Strafe has been really hard to record, and I've tried a bunch of times, so I think I'll leave it here. Uh, pick up Strafe if you're looking for an old-school kind of first-person shooter. It's really fun to jump around and bunny hop and do all those old-school things again. So give it a shot. I think it's worth your time. I will see you guys at the next game. Bye.